Welcome back to Fire Emblem Heroes. Today we'll be doing a summoning session on the brand new Three Houses banners, Goddess Servants, aka the Church of Zeros banner. Uh, my goal will be to get Flame, so I will spark her. Uh, but I will go full circles just because it is cheaper on orbs to just go full circles uh, instead of just sniping for her. And I might pick up something else along the way, like Shamir, Catherine, or Seteth. Um, I already got all the tickets, so let's begin. Alright, hey, three colors off gives me more chances of summoning um, a flame, which is the goal. Alright, so let's begin. Um, I really like this banner. Um, these are pretty good heroes, um, especially Flame. Um, she's going to be a very popular um, support unit with the ability to give that 30% uh, reduction and having both a heal and a assist skill into one with a uh, rescue, which is just things like uh, recon reconcile uh, as far as healing and is drawback or either restore or drawback not restore uh, rehabilitate uh, which of course brand new healing special I mean brand new healing assist which we haven't gotten in like forever so yeah, I expect Flame to be a very popular, both in offense teams and in defense teams. As she allows a lot of things um, that were not possible before, like giving armor units, flying units, a way to have a cooldown reduction. So on that sense, um, yeah, I do expect to see a lot of flames just running around. Uh, I myself would probably put her on my um, Astro team uh, to help out Sothis, Winter Sothis, in order to uh, help her survivability with that 30% uh, cooldown reduction. Sothis is fast enough to avoid getting doubled by most things, unless like they have a guaranteed follow-up attack. And of course she has her... Um, Mm, special fighter which prevents uh, special charges so it is a really good uh, it will be good to combine her with uh, uh, with flame especially seasons like the one that is about to begin which um, we will be using we'll be able to have plumeria as our bonus unit there So we, uh, we can easily run triple mythics or double support without um, any difficulty. Oh, Keaton. Okay, this is unexpected. I actually do not have a Keaton. Alright, um, as long as it's not like minus attack or something. And again, I say it and it happens. It is a minus attack Keaton. Alright, uh, sure, um, I would rather get Catherine, but okay. So Catherine, she is extremely powerful, like offensively, but she doesn't have a lot of um, enemy face. Her enemy face is a lot weaker, uh, just because her defenses aren't as high. She is definitely mostly a player face unit. Which could be good, like you can set it up in some kind of rally trap on a defense team or, you know, just use it for arena and stuff like that. But for ether raids, I don't know, she's just not that good as tank unless you go like uh, full in with a spur, with spur B skill and disencounter A skill and lots of support. 
I don't see her functioning that much as a offense unit. And then there's Shamir. Shamir uh, will probably also be a defense team's unit just because she'll function the same way as um, uh, Eleonora. Both of them have a conditional uh, sweep build into their weapon, conditional fire sweep build into their weapon, which uh, is always good. I mean, but tanks, uh, not all of them, but there are a number of tanks that do run no CD drop just for stuff like that and Veronica's, Camilla's, healers in general to prevent uh, getting overwhelmed by that. So against those teams, of course, it will be less effective, but they are pretty heavily offensive, so not as bad. All right. And with this, we'll be halfway there. And then Seteth. Seteth is a pretty interesting unit. He has really good um, offensive at 36, 36, I believe that he, uh, he has. Um, his weapon, having a unique weapon certainly helps him out a lot, especially like uh, on this meta where well, amongst Lance Flyers, which... Hey, speaking of setup. So, amongst Lance Flyers, which tend to be very bulky and slow. Having... Oh, plus attack, cool. So, yeah, like his weapon right here is... He gets plus three from his weapon automatically, so... Always a good thing. And then... Um, if unit is put into space of an ally, grants attack speed plus four. The unit combat and neutralizes force bonuses to attack speed, so it's similar to a lol, except like instead of decreasing their stats, increases his. And during combat grants attack to allies. This is mostly the um, the more important part. It allows him to be a support unit as well as an offensive unit. His kit is mm, there's no need to talk about his kit, his kit is very bad, but as a unit, amongst Lance Flyers, especially male Lance Flyers, which are the ones that tend to be extremely slow and bulky, he does stand out, so that's pretty good for him. Now can his quote-unquote sister come out? It's not his sister, but... Even in the... Um, Forging bonds, they pretend is his sister. But if you played five, if you played three houses, then you already know that Flame is not his sister. Lilina, still not resplendent, Lilina. Very interesting. Yeah. Um. Also. For uh, Shamir to be a green bow archer is actually pretty good for her because she stands out a lot more as an infantry green archer than as a just archer because all archers get compared to um, legendary alm and of course his weapon and his Lunar Flash are Lunar Arc and Lunar Flash are a lot stronger. So, on that sense, of course, he tends to come up up top amongst colorless bows. And if not, then you get compared to Legendary Leaf and having a brave weapon, of course. And Gale Force on a range, and it is is very hard to um compete against so usually those two take the top spots when it comes to archers on the color side so her being a green archer at least gives her a niche um, she's way better than all of the cavalry green archers like not even it's not even a question about it and her true competition would be like legendary Lin and Shamir has more stats than uh, Legendary Lin. 
Hey, look, we got a Fernand. I think I already have enough to plus 10 Fernand, but let's still mark him with the merge project. So not a lot of good units that I get. I was hoping to pick up a few Emmerings every now and then, but no Emmerings, just like Gen 1, a lot of Gen 1 3 stars that I'm picking up on the colorless pool. Uh, let's pause here and redeem on this one. Uh, we'll see, I like all three of them, but uh, we'll go for Julia then. I mean, I have a Lucina, so I think she might even be plus one. So yeah, like I was saying, green archers, cavalry archers, we have ra we have three of them and they all just don't even compare to uh, Shamir. I think we got another banner we can summon on. No, not yet. All right. Guess we can go this way. Yeah. Um, so this is pretty good. Now let's talk about the free unit Nemesis and how he doesn't have the creator sword. He has the Dark Creator Sword and <sighs> Dark Creator Sword is nowhere near as good as Creator Sword. It doesn't even have similar effects. It's not even a slaying weapon. So I don't know why they decided to call it like the Dark Creator Sword. It's just they're completely different weapons. And they look the same and that's about it, but it's literally not the creator sword or sword the creator. Um, so his weapon is one of those weapons that they've been trying out a lot lately. The it only works one time during only works one time during per turn, which is really bad for ether raids because in ether raids you're usually gonna end up getting hit two or three times consecutively especially like on the opening on your opening move so for a tank he does have good stats for a tank he's very slow though so he will probably get double by nearly everything although it is workable you can work with his speed but uh, he's still gonna get double a lot he definitely needs quick repose to be able to function properly uh, what are we at? Only 4%. But yeah, um, so... Those... I don't really like those uh, one-time uh, effects. They tend to be very underwhelming on, mu on multi-phase combats like for arena they're fine usually in arena you end up taking one uh battles one at a time so it's not as big a deal but in ether raids which is what i mostly focus on my content and my and it's like the game mode that i take most seriously it's just not as good but the effect is really good though like having um well it's really good but it's also slightly restrictive so for example if you wanted to use him as an astro tank which he could probably one shot uh uh Trasir, which is the biggest threat in astro season but um the big problem is that Duma exists, and Duma will always do those five damage that is gonna cost you. Well, Duma does the what is it? Seven damage to everything, which will bring your all your units. Well, not all units, but it might bring uh, most of your units under ninety percent. Which uh, his weapon requires allies to be with it above 90 percent in order for him to get plus two attack and defense which that 
it's pretty weak effect like okay um it's like it is a global effect so on that point it is a good effect but um overall that part of the effect is kind of weak i'm gonna is even weaker than its keys uh plus seven and then um declining every time he gets into combat if the enemy survives because if he kills his enemy then he'll still keep the plus attack plus seven plus seven but if they live then he'll go down to plus five plus five and then he'll go down to plus three plus three man nothing i am getting nothing not even like good fodder units but it's the damage reduction up to i think it's 45 percent that part is really good and also being able to working on aoes and also working unlike most weapons that have come that with that effect is his works through with the first combat encounter against an enemy like both whenever they attack him twice because they're most likely gonna double him and if they have an aoe so if they hit with the aoe that gets minus 45 then their first hit gets minus 45 and then their second hit gets minus 45 if he gets that far but after that combat then it's over like that's it he's stuck with the um getting uh fully hurt and we picked up nothing we got one kitten and that's about it not nah. yellow is for dancers all right let's just get our flame then then will someone ask ours permit till we get a five star so think with like a 4.5 pity rate right now Plain innocent is right. You are not innocent, Flame. We know your secret. How delightful to be somewhere so lively. <laughs> All right, so, uh, go to. Uh, we had enough, but. Rarity in decrease order. You don't should not need this many. And that's two. All right. Hopefully this is enough for us to finish without having to bother with this again. Yeah, we're at 4.5, so hopefully we don't spend too many orbs to pick up a 5-star just to close it out. But yeah, um, I wish the, his effect was a little lower, maybe like instead of 45, maybe 30% if they wanted to go that way. And then give him the, but make it permanent, the damage reduction, obviously. Uh, yeah, this first combat things I really like it. It's just it makes the unit. Oh, we got a tavern. All right, I guess this is it. We'll finish the circle and we'll be done. This is the first tavern this account too. Minus attack, man. That's two minus attacks. But yeah, um. So, I mean, I still probably will just merge all the copies that we get of Nemesis. Hopefully, we'll, down the line, we'll get a better version of him. Like, with the actual Sword of the Creator or, like, a better Sword of the Creator. Or a better weapon than this one that doesn't have as much, as many restrictions. Alright, and look like we did not pick up anything else. Who knows, maybe there's a Catherine hiding right here. I doubt it, but... At least it's a foursome. And it's just a male murder. 
Mel Morgan, why couldn't you at least have a dull range of four stars? So annoying that you have to five star him just to get that. And that's what probably that, that many people use that skill. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We picked up what three units I think. Obtain rarity, obtain this or not. Well no, it's actually the other way. Rarity obtaining this in order. So yeah, we picked up Tibur and Keaton. Those are the only two we actually summoned. And then we got our Spark Flame. Which we will be using for Ether Raids, of course. Uh, probably this upcoming week. Um, uh, yeah, I'll get her all her skills before then. And then I'm just going to wait for Saint to be a bonus unit. Uh, give him a build and then as uh, when I will be using same but yeah uh, that is it for this um, I guess a mini summoning section summoning for flame uh, thank you all for watching I'll see you all next time bye